we have extracted ourselves we managed just to quickly jack ourselves up and just get a branch underneath the bank had given way a little bit and that's why it was in the situation that we got a little stuck but we are still with Tinio he's still mobile heavily north he's moving very fast and he's going towards Biffles Hook Dam so we're definitely going to just have a little look at him as he goes up towards the dam itself and then we're going to have to make space because there's a number of guys that want to follow and want to see him and we've been with him pretty much the whole morning so don't want to have a situation where we lose him and then there's the other guys don't get to see him so that's why we're going to try and just follow him like i say to the dam itself but i'm um, follow i say following him it's more like he's following us to the dam at this stage i'm reversing so that you guys can all get to see his face as we go along you can see there's a couple cars that are behind him and they're doing the following we're doing the leading at this stage Meter, I don't know if the male lion also smells like popcorn. Meter, no, not really. Um, their urine doesn't smell. Urine doesn't smell. Remember that the, the leopards, they don't smell like popcorn, the actual animal. It's just their, their wee that smells like popcorn. So the lion's wee doesn't smell like popcorn. It smells more like cat wee, which is very pungent and not very nice smelling meter. But they don't, unfortunately, smell like the leopards do. The leopards have the nice smelling urine. And I'm trying to watch where I'm going as well, going backwards. It's not the easiest thing to do, but it is certainly nice to see his head and not his tail as we go along. So it's very pleasant rather to be in a situation like this than it is to be behind him. And it seems as though the whole morning all we've done is chase his backside. <laughs> so Chantal, if I have a, a neck problem, you're going to have to send me to get a chiropractor sorted from staring behind me the whole time and also trying to avoid hitting any stumps, which I almost did there. Oopsie. That was close. <laughs> I almost drove into that tree just over here. This little one over here. I wasn't really paying too much attention and almost hit it. That wouldn't have gone down. Now you'll see that this lion's going to cut straight across and he's going to come out just on my right hand side here. I've got a little path and I guarantee he's going to walk through it and he'll pop out somewhere where I am. Now when I go around, there's going to be a pathway coming out. Where is it? See there it runs. So it's just running parallel with me still. I thought it was going to come more towards the road, but it's still running parallel at this stage. So I'm just going to keep going. I think what we're going to do is try and position ourselves at Buffelzook Dam because he's definitely going to come to the dam. He's not far away now at all. And so I'd rather get into that area and get ourselves into a good position. And then we can be able to watch him from the dam itself. Also, I think my neck might break if I continue to reverse the way that I am at the moment. So here we go. There's somewhere where I can turn around, finally. Whew. That was a marathon reversing session. Now I've got gaffer tape stuck to me. It's all happening. The problem is that the guys there are not going to be able to follow him much longer anyway. Andy, you're wondering if all four of the Birmingham boys were together, would they still scent mark, or would they all scent mark? Most definitely, Andy. Even if all four are together, you'll find different ones will scent mark in different places, but they most certainly do scent as a group. See that? Right, sounds like gremlins are climbing on, so I'm going to try and see if I can't wait here for this male line. And while we do that, let's go back to Tara, and we'll see you all in a little bit. Oh, welcome back. So we haven't found any tracks crossing 